Hey, what's up? Hello, y'all. Welcome back to the Complicated Entertainment channel. If you are new here, welcome. I'm so, 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 so glad you're here. Not new, welcome back. Let's go ahead and get right into today's video, okay? All right, y'all. So first things first, it seems like Beyonce is going to be launching, okay, a new fragrance, new perfume, um, and it's coming out in November, all right? It's $160, all right? And the price to me, that's not my concern because, you know, Versace, Gucci, you know, all their stuff be expensive. So why when a black woman want to make her perfume expensive, why is there going to be a problem? So there's no issue with that, okay? But a part of me does feel like she's running her fans dry, okay? After you pay almost $700 to come see me in person, I want you to go buy this perfume of mine, all right? Now, you know, she's not forcing anybody to do that, okay? Because, you know, she is a businesswoman. And she's just expanding her income, which is fine. But a part of me feels like um, we need these visuals before you giving out perfume and fragrances. Yeah, we need the visuals first, okay? Um, she was on tour talking about some, you are the visual, baby. When somebody asked where the visuals are, she told them, you are the visual. Yeah, bitch, in a minute, you're going to be the perfume because nobody's going to be buying that, all right? Nobody's going to be buying the perfume when it's sitting up in the warehouses, stacked up, stocked up, and, and stashed up, okay? You wondering why the, the perfume ain't selling? Because you ain't dropped them damn visuals, okay? Beehive, this is your sign to boycott everything Beyonce has going on until she drops them visuals. And maybe she will act like she needs to drop them because she she paying y'all does she told y'all y'all are the visuals basically you ain't getting nothing and just buy my shit and come to my show and that's how she that's how she treating y'all all right but hey if you want to be treated like a damn cash cow be her guest all right y'all need to go ahead and sabotage until y'all get what y'all want as a fan all right let's move on to this next topic it seems like Ice Spice is going to be releasing her deluxe version of her EP called Like, all right? Um, this is good news. This is good news. And it's coming out very, very soon. You know, she didn't give much time to prepare for anything, okay? Um, so it seems like she's going to be releasing the deluxe of EP. Now, people typically don't really do deluxe EPs. You know what I'm saying? Um, so a part of me feels like her team is scared for her to drop an album too soon. Okay, but actually, it'd be perfect time for her to drop an album now. Okay, um, or at least by the end of the year. Okay, now this is good news though that she's making more music and she's putting out more music because, okay, she was kind of running low, you know, not really, not really running low, but it, it was going to be some time since she put out some solo music. Okay, um, so hopefully this does perform well. I mean, Ice Spice doesn't really perform badly on the charts. She does perform badly. Um, she can maintain a cute top 30 hit. You know what I'm saying? So I'm cute, real nice. All right. But this new EP is going to have four new tracks. Mm, a bit low for me. I probably want about five. <laughs> about five of them. Uh, but yeah, Ice Spice is doing her thing. Um, are you excited for this new deluxe version of the EP? All right. Let me know how you feel about this down below in the comment section, okay? Some people are not really here for a deluxe EP. They feel like it's kind of cheating your way out of making an album, all right? That's kind of the conversation I've been seeing. Um, but I don't know, okay? What do you think? Let me know your opinion down below. Let's move on into this next topic, okay? I love good news. I just love me some good news. For the first time in Nicki Minaj's career, she has surpassed over 58 million monthly listeners on Spotify, okay? That is 58 million people tuned into Nicki Minaj every single month, all right? Now, um, in my opinion, this is really good because typically rappers don't really get those big numbers like that. Um, you know, only people who get those numbers like the pop stars, you know, the Katy Perry's, the Taylor Swift, you know what I'm saying? They're like, you know, the pop stars getting those big, big numbers, okay? So to see an artist who not too long ago was going through a hate train, a hate era, and is able to come out of that and then be able to thrive on these streaming platforms, I think it's great. Now, I feel like once she hits 60 million, I feel like it may be around the time when the album comes out, okay? Because once the album comes out, more people are gonna be tuning into Nicki and hearing what she has to say. Um, but that that maybe it can go up when she does her big feature, all right? There's a rumor that's going around that she's gonna be having a big feature coming out really soon, and it's gonna boost, okay, her um, listeners and everything like that. But honestly though, you know, in my opinion, I feel like her hiatus is well needed, okay? Um, you know, she's on hiatus right now. That's the rumor. That's the rumor on the street. It's been some days since she's been posting on social media, whatever, woo, 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 woo. Um, 
it's it's well needed because when she's gone, people appreciate her more and they appreciate her work more and they appreciate her as an artist more. So when she takes back away her presence, people are just left with her work and her videos, you know what I'm saying? Stuff like that. So um, I think a hiatus is really good. Hiatus is very, very good. That's the world on the street right now. All right. Nikki's on hiatus. Now, my opinion, though, I feel like um, she can't be on hiatus but so long. You know what I'm saying? She has a lead single to put out. You know what I'm saying? She has an album to put out. So it won't be too long. But I feel like if she goes on hiatus from now all the way until, I'll say about October 1st. Mm, October 1st, yeah. I would not be mad. And y'all probably thinking that's a long time. But not when you're about to put out a whole project and go on tour and release singles and music videos and all that stuff. It's not that long, for real, for real. Because the whole era is about to start. So, yeah. How do y'all feel about that? How do y'all feel about the big Spotify update? And let me know your opinions down below in the comment section. We can go ahead and discuss this down below. Let's move on to this next topic. I, oh, y'all, it seems like Skims, all right, um, is now valued at $4 billion, okay? Now, my opinion, you know, you can say what you want about the Kardashians and the Jenners and, you know, you know, the, uh, <laughs> yeah, you can say what you want about them. But one thing I would not take away from the Kardashians is Skims, okay? Skims eats. Um, you know, I feel like the creative direction is amazing, you know, that's how you do a brand. That's how you run a celebrity brand. And people are probably like, oh, well, of course it's $4 billion. Kim Kardashian's name is attached to it. No, that's not always how brands work. Sometimes, goddamn, Madonna could be attached to the shit. The shit gonna be selling negative 100,000 units, okay? Um, Beyonce's, her uh, Ivy Park flop. You know what I'm saying? I'm just saying, okay? Let's give Kim her props this one little time with her brand. Like, I mean, I, I understand the backlash with Kim, the Kim, but she, she's this and she's, she stole my race. She stole my skin tone. I get it. All right. Um, but I do think the Skims brand is a really, 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 really good brand. And I'm not shocked. That, well, I am shocked that it's worth four. Well, maybe it's not even $4 billion for her. Maybe they just up in the price just to you know, do some shady stuff behind the scenes. Cause you know, when Kylie Jenner allegedly had hit a billion dollars, she got an investigation launched on that ass and she was not even touching 500, 500 million. So I don't know. I don't know. But if it is true, congrats, Kim, your brand is very good and people do like your brand. So you're doing something right. All right. Um, yes. Y'all let me know your opinion down below in the comment section. I would love to hear what you have to say about that. Let's move on to this next topic. Okay. Moving on. Okay. Um, I was scrolling on social media, as I normally do, um, and I came across this post, okay, and they were claiming that there was a cockroach in their lotto meal, all right, um, because as you all know, lotto recently, you know, she has her lotto wingside meal, da, 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 cool, um, and it was like embedded in between the fries of the meal, I was like, oh my gosh, not the lotto meal bringing out the roaches and shit, um, so yeah, that was that. But in my opinion, you know, on some real stuff, this could probably just most likely be a Wingstop issue or the location that the Wingstop was at. So it probably isn't the lotto mail itself. But I mean, even if it was, I wouldn't be surprised either. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if the lotto mail was made out of roaches itself. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if, you know, the lotto um special sauce was roach juice. So that would be cool. Um but like I just said, this could most likely just be a Wingstop issue or the location of the person who has gotten the food from issue. So hopefully they send an email to corporate, okay? Um, and they should have CC Lotto on that shit too. It seemed like Drake loved himself some sexy red. I don't know, Drake, he want a red. Oh. <laughs> um, anyway, okay, so um, Drake and Redhead was on Instagram cuddling. Ooh, what's up with that? Um, now, my, in my opinion, I feel like Drake, he just hops onto whatever is hot. Um, I feel like Drake knows that Sexy Red is popular, okay? So, he knows that he can get some controversy around being around Sexy Red and all the, you know, all that rah-rah. Because Drake is always around whatever is popping, okay? He's always around the people who are popular. I don't know. I have a low-key beef with Drake on the low low, but I still rock with him. But I just think he's a scammer and I think he just does things for clicks and clout. I don't know. That's just my opinion on that. But, um, Sexy Red is benefiting more from this, you know, fake me out cuddling session on Instagram. You know what I'm saying? She need to promo more than he does, allegedly. But, I mean, hey, that's cute. 
Um, Sexy Red is being placed in front of the right people ever since she did her Nicki Minaj collab. Yup. Ever since she collabed with Nicki, she been with Travis Scott. She been around here with Ice Spice. She been with Drake. You know, she just been in all the right rooms. So, I have to give props to Nicki. Y'all may think I'm delusional. Oh, what does Nicki have to do with it? Bitch, you heard what I said. She was not doing all this until she got a Nicki Minaj feature. Period. Moving the fuck on, okay? It seems like Carly done lie. All right. Um, yeah. You know, the lady who went missing after her phone and everything was on the side of the road and she was trying to get this toddler and save the toddler. Yeah, it seems like she was lying. Okay. And honestly, it makes me upset that she allegedly, allegedly was lying. I'm allegedly, I'm not trying to get advice. Allegedly, y'all. Everything's alleged. Um, It makes me upset because, you know, there is so much, so many real stories out there like this that go on and people do not come back home at all. So to hear this and just, you know, it it just makes me a bit irritated. But, you know, they're still doing the investigations um, and they're still trying to figure out what really went down. But it seems like as of right now, she allegedly was lying. So, yeah. What is your opinions on that? Let me know your opinion down below in the comment section. I would love to hear what you have to say about that. Especially that. Okay? If you don't comment nothing else, I want to hear what you guys say about this. All right? Because this is some real stuff. All right? Um, But yeah, yeah. Let me know your opinion down below. And I will see you all in the next one. Be safe. (laughs)